Hi guys, I welcome you all to my YouTube channel Software Testing by MKT. As a part of this video, I'm going to talk about how to write test cases in software testing. On my channel, I have already created a playlist which is called as Test Cases in that I have already uploaded a videos on test cases which is like each and everything you should know about test cases, test case review process and test case design techniques. This will be my fourth video on playlist test cases which, which is about how to write test cases in software testing. Many people on my channel requested me to make a video on this topic so finally i'm making for you guys make sure that you utilize it so guys this is a test case template which i have created and uh, this is one of the standard test case template which uh, you can refer and you can utilize it in your own company and uh, this is a template which most of the it industries companies are following in today's world not only startup company but also mnc's company many companies are following this template so you can trust on this template and uh, you can if you are using any different template in your company, you can follow this template. This is one of the standard template, which I will suggest each and every one of you to utilize this, to use it, to make your manager, QA manager, engineering manager, to make them believe that this is one of the best template you can have uh, for test case document or to write test cases. So if you see this template here, uh, we have multiple columns. The first column is called as serial number and uh, so generally in serial number sl number we generally write the serial number in such a way that each and every one of you when they are reading the serial number they will self understand that which particular scenario we are going to talk about see if i just write the serial number as one underscore login without anyone anyone telling me any person can understand that i am talking about the login functionality here if you see my serial number two, I have written two underscore compose mail. So I'm talking about composing a mail. And guys, before uh, uh, explaining further, I just want to tell you that this is the test case I have written and considering the application called as Gmail. The reason I have taken Gmail as an application here, uh, because you guys are all are familiar with Gmail. You all guys are using Gmail. And that is the reason I have taken gmail as an example to write the test cases so if you see my uh, third uh, serial number i have taken as taken it as three underscore delete bin so where i'm trying to just say that i am deleting something and checking in bin so your serial number should be in such a way that you should write serial number in such a way that without writing the test scenario anyone should be able to understand what exactly is my test scenario just by reading your, your serial number and if you see test scenario it means uh, your aim of writing the test cases so here the aim is validation of login functionality of your gmail application with correct credential and this is my precondition so guys precondition is something like uh, when you are trying to reproduce the scenario what is the precondition which is required so when i say that i have to use my gmail what is the precondition which is required? So I will say that my, my precondition is that I sh my system, my laptop should be connected to the internet. So I have written the precondition as system should be connected to QA to Gmail Wi-Fi. Uh, guys, if you join any company, if you join any kind of company, whether it is a startup or MNC, they will be having multiple Wi-Fi. So some of the Wi-Fi will be for only for testing into testing environment. Some of the Wi-Fi will be there only to test it on production. Some of the Wi-Fi will be there to test only on beta environment. So that's the reason I have just written it. Like uh, your system should be connected to QA to Gmail Wi-Fi. I mean, you can just write it like uh, your system should be connected to Wi-Fi. For your better understanding, I'm just, I have just written it. And then your steps to reproduce. Your step to reproduce says that what in all steps I need to make it in order to achieve my test scenario. So steps to reproduce so i have written launch a browser enter your valid gmail url that is mail.gmail.com and then enter valid username and click on the next button if you open any gmail there you have to enter your gmail username after writing your valid username you need to click on the next button once you click on the next button uh, it will ask for your password then you need to enter your password and then you click you need to click on the submit button in order to home page to display so this is the step to reproduce for this particular scenario once you do it uh, i have written a column called as expected behavior so here i'm just trying to make anyone understand that 
my expected behavior from this particular test scenario is home page should be displayed post login means once i do this step to reproduce for this particular scenario my expected behavior is that home page should be displayed so uh, this is my expected behavior and after that i have written a column called as actual behavior so this is something which i'm expecting and this is something which is happening so what is happening so in actual behavior i have written that upon entering correct username and password home page is displayed so this is my actual behavior and since my expected behavior is meeting with actual behavior my result is pass here i have created one more column which is called as result here i will mark my test cases either as pass or fail if it is matching my expected behavior is matching with actual behavior i will mark my result as pass if my expected behavior is not matching with actual behavior i will mark the result as fail so talking about result it can have a various list of option like uh, uh, not applicable sometime or it may be like uh, cannot execute or something like that. this is your result and then i have created a column which is called as automated so there you can write whether your application or this particular scenario is whether it is automated or not if it is automated you can write it as yes if it is not automated you can write it as no and then i have created a one more uh, column which is called as bug id suppose if you write any scenario let's talk about this scenario and if it is fail by any mean after writing here fail there should be a bug id attached to it because tomorrow people are going to see your test cases and if it is fail you need to write a bug id and you already know that each and everything in test case document if any any scenario result is fail or it is not passed there should be a bug id for that uh, that bug id you need to write it here so if it is fail if it is this scenario is failed then you need to log a bug in your defect tracking tool and that bug id should be written here so this is the template which i am following in my own company so i i i suggest everyone to follow the same this is one of the standard so let's talk about the other scenario which is like to underscore compose a mail so my scenario is a validation of composing a mail and this is my test scenario then my precondition is system should be connected to my wi-fi i'm just telling that user should be able to user should be logged into his application we said in the pre precondition after the user is uh, logged in into the application and he is on the home page he need to click on the compose button once he click on the compose button he need to write the re recipient's name mail id in the text field in the two text field provided i'm writing the steps to reproduce it so and after that i'm telling that he need to enter the valid subject name in the space provided then he should write a mail in the body provided and then he need to click on the send button once he do that my expected behavior is upon sending a mail message sent message should be displayed sent message whatever the message you have sent should be present in the sent mails and uh, uh, whatever the message i have sent it to the person he should be able to receive the mail so this is my expected behavior and my actual behavior is working as expected so i will uh, uh, i will mark this test case as pass and whether it is automated or not automated i will mark it as mark it as and uh, since it is uh, not a failure i will not uh, write any bug id with respect to this particular test case talking about my third scenario i am telling uh, three delete bin so here i am checking that validation of deleting a mail and checking if it is present in bin folder guys in uh, your gmail application if you delete any mail that mail will go back to the bin folder there will be a bin folder i am just telling that in precondition that my system should be connected to wi-fi and the user should be logged in once he is logged in from the inbox he can click on any mail checkbox and he can click on the delete button present on the top once he do that he should go back to the bin folder and check whether that uh, deleted mail is present or not so this is my steps to reproduce it once i do that my expected behavior is 
deleted mail from inbox should be present in the bin folder so this is my expect this is my expected behavior and upon testing it i found it that this is working as expected and since it is working as i expected i have resulted into pass and uh, whether it is automated or not automated i will write it as yes or no since there is no bug this scenario is not fail i will not assign any bug id to this particular scenario so using this you can write any kind of scenario and uh, do let me know guys if this was useful to you guys and if you have any question list out all in the comment section if you have any scenario which you guys are not able to write it as how to write test cases or how to write test scenario or how to write precondition or how to write steps to reproduce or expected behavior actual behavior result or uh, any doubt you have put out all it out in the comment section thank you guys so guys i hope this video was useful if yes please give a big thumbs up to this video subscribe to my channel software testing by mkt and please share this video with your indie friends have any doubt list out all it out in the comment section i will be clearing it out thank you